Alright guys, it's 2021. New year, new me, new opportunities, still crazy out there, crazy times. But I am committing to you right now on record to bring the vlog back to life and commit to being a better sharer. I have this tendency to get so caught up in almost living my life to the fullest. I'm like a voracious consumer of life. Constantly moving, constantly, you know, exercising and hanging out with my family and really, really investing in um, where I'm at in every specific moment that I have a tendency to forget to actually like share that with the world, share that with you guys. And um, I recognize that it's kind of selfish for me to live this fast paced lifestyle where I get to ski for a living and go hunting all the time and hang out with my family and not um, not let you guys come along for the ride. So the vlog is back. It's self edited, self filmed. It's going to be a little interesting. It's going to be different because coronavirus means ha has meant that I can no longer afford to pay a filmer to travel with me everywhere. And that's just the way it is. So it's going to be raw. It's going to be a little weird. I might have a lot of shots. I might have a few shots. I might have to piece things together. I might have to sit here and tell you what happened in order to get the piece that I missed. But I'm going to try my best, and I'm just thankful for you guys coming along for the ride. Out here, Copper Mountain, getting ready for X Games at the end of the month. We're actually going to have a contest, or so they say. So I'm stoked to be out here riding. And uh, yeah, I'm stoked to be sharing it with you guys again. Here we go. <laughs> All right, it's copper. It's day two. We're out here, and uh, today I'm working on a new trick, new but small in terms of rotation. Because I figure it's time for a new style trick. Like, if you ain't progressing in all areas, then you just give up. So, working on switch LU fives today. First one went really poorly. Now Jeremy's gonna film and you guys can see how the rest go. We're getting there. So for the first half of this trip, I'm staying at my friend Kim's house. And this is a rental that she would normally be renting out this time of year. But thanks to COVID, the restrictions kind of limited her ability to rent this place. So. I'm not saying that I'm excited about it for her, but I am certainly excited about it for me. Super awesome spot, and check this out. There's a bald eagle just hanging out right there. All right, I'm out here living the bachelor lifestyle, which means that my family's not with me downside to that is that I'm not eating as well as I usually do because my wife is one of the best cooks on the planet. But don't despair, I have all the right ingredients and I want to show you guys how you can easily make a delicious meal. So I have a shank here from my elk that I got in New Mexico this year, but you can do this with any bone-in roast style meat cut. Um, Anybody who hunts, definitely save the shanks. I used to just trim them off and put them into the grind meat, but um, <clears throat> the way that this cooks out with the bones in just ends up being so much better than anything that you can do with the grind pile. I have some of the bone broth from 
the elk, uh, which we boiled down. I think I boiled it overnight. This stuff, if I can get it over. And uh, yeah, good stuff. There it is in all its glory, and I admit to you right now that I'm too hungry to be too worried about preparation or presentation. Got a little caught up editing, and it's 11 o'clock at night. It's dinner time. That's the best thing about slow cooking stuff, so you can just eat it whenever you feel like it.